Friday, congratulations. That's all I gotta say. You know the rest. Uh, still doing the world. Still have not, until right now, gotten a Russia one. I think we're uh, getting it right off the bat. So far this week, done pretty well, yep. All right. Done pretty well for score. This one, on the other hand, I doubt will be any good. So we're going to sob Mack truck driving OGN EOP Ogenopasno Ogenopasno Ogenopat Ugh. Brain is mush. Um, recording these all on the same day as the, the previous two. And I got up very early this morning to hike that mountain. If you remember back on Monday, me talking about that. I have gotten up early in the morning. It was 5.30 when I got up so I could get myself prepped and ready. And I never thought that I would be the type of person to be 100% okay with getting up super early to, it doesn't tell me anything, get up super early to do a thing on the weekend like that. I would always think that I would spend my weekends, like this almost looks like a prison bus, like just transporting things here and there. Like I always thought I'd be the person who would just be sleeping in my bed getting up at like 9, 10, and uh, just doing nothing all day. Now I'm just like, I'm going to get up early, just as early, like the same time I would go, excuse me, I would wake up for a work day. I'm doing the same thing again, and that just seems backwards to me. And nothing, it just doesn't tell me anything other than that this is still Russia. Nothing on this bus told me anything either. I'm hoping to get some signage here, but I'm not. Oh, we have the M6. Is this the M6? Nope. All right, so we've got something. I am so pretty excited now just because I actually have something to go off of, which I normally don't. E38... M6 and E38. Now it's just a matter of me actually seeing this. And I I got the M7. It's like the M6 South? M4. Um, the problem with this country, it's too big. M7. Where is M6 for me to find this? M6. I am panicking because I'm never going... I've been begging for this. For this um type of clue and now that i got it i'm not finding the the highway i need to find a highway number and none of these p255 have them on i've got like such little time man um m6 is over here is this the m6 no p297 um M6, 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 M6. I got 10 seconds. I'm so mad. 38. Oh my god. I found the 38. Please be the right one. It's it's a long road. Oh my god. I'm actually happy with that. I'll take it. The hell is this? It's a weird casino. Pearl River Resort. I Nope, don't know where this is. Just from seeing that. I mean, we're in America. It's the first America one, actually, here. And we've got MS Highway 16. Is this Mississippi Highway 16? Hmm. Play. I, 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 potentially, this could be. I need to find some more information. Actually, there's a thing over here. I'm hoping you are in information center. However, you're not telling me anything. 
this is a massive road with a very low speed limit. Uh, this is Route 16 East. Problem is, I still don't know what state this is. The area code does not help me. There is a flag here. I don't recognize that flag. Choctaw Fire Department. Okay. Now, <laughs> here's my logic. There was a song, a country song, called Tennessee Outlaw. And I want to feel like sometime during that song, he says, Choctaw. <laughs> this is what I'm using to try to find out where exactly we are. And we're like in this part. So we're not that far off from this actually being Mississippi. Like, I don't know the exact places that, um, well, odd numbers are going north to south, I believe. Even, well, even 16. So I have to try to find a Pearl River Resort, which can be a bit of a problem. Like, I feel like I got, I got it. Mississippi Choctaw Reservation, Golden Moon. We're we're slowly coming to this. We're still in sixteen. Okay, sixteen ends here. Tractor Supply. How I I don't know how I found this, but Pearl River Resort Welcome Center. Oh my Christ! Let's hit home. We are exactly at the intersection, like right in the intersection here, like right here. I want like 5,100 points for this. I have done it. Oh, I feel so good. I feel happy, vindicated, completely forgot what the hell I was talking about before this, but it doesn't matter because Willis Road. Although that is Industrial Drive, now I am a s little bit concerned because I don't see Will th this Willis Road. This is Industrial Drive. This isn't Willis Road. No, but that's... Ooh, I want to go see Piggly Wiggly. I got time. Piggly Wiggly. Wiggly Piggly Wiggly Wiggly. I want to see what one of these look like. Um, no, I am now turned around. We are in... The resort, um, well, there was the welcome center should have been right here. Am I like, no, no, it was up the road. It was up the road. That goddamn welcome center threw me off. It should have been right here because that is Willis Road. God dang it. Whatever. Whatever. You can say I dropped the ball, but you tell me. You tell me if you can get that faster than I did. Unless you're from that part of the world. Then yeah, I'll, 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 uh, I'll concede that you got it faster than I did. Now, I've got the country. The problem is finding exactly where this is. I need to be able to read this. It's not like I'm going to be able to actually understand it, but I'm just hoping I find a word on here that tells me. Central American Services, General Services. Central Mexico. So we're here. This could be more Central Mexico. Uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, huh? Okay. Tocar El Timbre. I don't know what that means. A toucan falls over. Is this Mexico City? No, this is a Mexico City, is it? San Miguel. Is there a San Miguel? Or is it? It's, could just be the saint. If this is like a church thing. 
Or is this a school? Mm. Couldn't tell you. Although it's cool they've they've painted the We've got Uruguay and Juarez roads. Tell me where we are. Is this San Mig Miguel? Miguel? Hmm. I'm not seeing it anywhere here. I doubt I'm actually gonna gonna see this. But let's just keep going. Maybe something will tell me. Like if I see El Guerro, the war? Is that what this is? Isn't that what war is? Is guerre? Well, in French, is guerre, G U E R R E, and I'm I'm assuming that the Mexican isn't that far off from it. Hmm. Nope, no, this is that's not gonna. This is, what am I doing looking at nails thinking is actually gonna help me? Um, nope, none of that helps me. I mean, I'm 100% grateful that they finally put me in a spot with the one thing I've been asking for this entire time, which is just you look, you see the flag, you know where you are. Now, let's hit home. I want, I want to, uh, I think I want to go this way, and if I can go up, I can't. I'm starting to notice as I sit here these three videos I'm doing. I've got a bit of a sniffle. Uh, hopefully, I haven't done it too much. We are in San Miguel. So, can I find San Miguel? It's not a big enough town where I'm actually going to find it, I believe. I mean, dumber things have happened, so I won't put it past me. In the 30 seconds I got, but I'm I'm a little worried now that this uh, I might be getting a cold, and I hope not. It's been a while since I've gotten one, and I don't want to get one now. San Juan. I did see, uh, or at least I listened to. I'm I'm catching up on some podcasts over the Christmas break for uh, things I've gotten backed up on because of all the things I didn't listen to because of holidays and other things. Uh, there was a radio lab, and they're talking about. This, like, uh, well, I wasn't too far off. I mean, if I that that almost seems like if I was paying attention, I could have I could have seen it, but I'll take it. Okay, instant. Figure out where we are. Maybe Portugal. Maybe Spain. Maybe Italy. Let me. Is this? Van, okay, that is not getting closer. Well, I was listening to a radio lab, and they're talking about the story of the oh, fuck you and your gas dot com. That doesn't help me. Is this Spain? Every time I think it's Spain, it ends up being Portugal. So tell me, that didn't tell me anything. All right, well, we're near water. No, we're not. Those are mountains. <laughs> or, no, I'm, I am confused and flustered. Let's move on. I, I'm trying to figure too much out from, like, there's better ways of getting information than what I'm, what I'm trying to do right now. So let's uh, go into town and maybe potentially see some more information. But there was a uh, story of, uh, King Philip, I believe, the Spanish king. One of his sons fell down some stairs. It was Radio Lab. It's one of the ones from a couple of weeks ago, I believe. Uh, these should have flags on them, but they do not. That doesn't tell me anything, nor does that. Moving on. And his son fell down some stairs uh, and got, like, big bad head trauma. You know, they, they, it didn't look good for him. He thought he was going to die. All the doctors tried to do a bunch of stuff. Granted, this is also in the 15th or 16th century, I believe. Don't remember which ones precisely. It doesn't matter. The hundred years. It's still back in the time when curing anybody were like bad humors and uh, bloodletting and things like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I'm not entirely sad that I'm here, but I'm also was not prepared to jump this much. Uh, Spain.
God, no, this... Okay, you got the ends. But his... Nothing seemed to work. It looked like he was going to die. So... The king got down on a knee and said, like, Hey, God, you know, if you do this miracle and save my son, I'll do a miracle for you. And wouldn't you know it, the... uh, Well, there's 6.30. The sun gets better, just as new. Almost like nothing actually bad happened. Again, we're like one goddamn number off. We're ten digits off and we're not finding it here. So, of course, now that he made that promise, he's got to actually, you know, follow through on his promise. So he ended up actually uh, calling this. Actually, get me back over there. Okay, because there was a sign that I wanted to see that was up here that may actually tell me what I want. Salamanca, Portugal. All right, so we're near the border, I believe. So I'm going to look for a 620 on the border here. I can't. So the, he, he hired this clockmaker who apparently was notoriously stinky, smelly, awful, curmudgeon, grumpy old man type guy, but he was this amazing clockmaker, apparently. I should also look for SA200, but. I haven't found it. Or E80. I've got a lot of numbers to go with, but none of these things are, are, are showing up for me here. I'm a bit... In, I ran out of time. Is there a 620? It was... How far do I got to zoom in to... None of these have that number on it. Whatever. Final one. Here we go. We got penis... Penis sons. <laughs> But he, he, he hired this uh, renowned clockmaker to be like, all right, I commissioned you to make um, this little automaton because apparently when the, the uh, St. Louis to pause, none of these things tell me where we are yet. I'm just hopefully trying to suss something out on here. And I'm not finding it. Although, nope. All right. But as the, the, the son was like in bed, deathbed, having fever dreams, fits, stuff like that, said he was visited by this this monk who was like the, the kind of like a the local folklore, like religious monk, like religious monk, that's an oxymoron. This well-known monk in the, in the area of even like, Hmm, I don't know. Is this Portugal? Tell me where we are. Not finding anything. Why is the snowman here? It is not snowman time unless we're in the southern hemisphere and it's actually La Paz G10. None of these things tell me anything I need. So... He decided to have the clockmaker do a... Oh, Telmex. <laughs> All right, so we're in Mexico. I don't know where. I'm just going to click here for now. Well, actually, this may tell me some things I need now. San Luis de Paz. San Luis Potosi. Well, University National de Mexico. Well, that just may mean that well, he had a degree from the University of Mexico. I don't know. Hmm. La Paz. This is this. That's not going to help me trying to find this here. So I'm going to stop trying to search that. But finally, as I'm sure you're sick of me trying to finish this story, as I am trying to as well, but. Uh, so they made, he, he commissioned this clockmaker to make a little automaton. He's like 15 inches tall, I believe. And, um, he did it and it exists, exists to this day. The actual Smithsonian actually has it. And, um, maybe you can probably search online for it. Just be like a 15th century, you can say automaton robot. It'll come up and it's real intricate. Like, the little wind-up mechanism for it is hidden, apparently. Uh, it walks around, moves his feet, does, like, some prayer motions. It's pr 
pretty surprisingly intricate for a small, old, and surprisingly French chicken, huh? Very uh, durable. I mean, it's made out of wood and metal. And something to be said about making something that can last this long. Especially when you're this renowned of a clockmaker, I guess. So, Ricardo Juarez. So, Juarez was where? Not up here. Juarez. Isn't that in the south? Juarez. I feel like it's around here and I'm just not seeing it. It's a big enough city that it should be showing up, but I am not seeing it. Oh, there's St. Louis de Paz. Okay, whatever. Wow. I'm really surprised at the score we got from this one. Each one was substantially higher than the one before. <laughs> Even the Russia one. And that was kind of dumb luck. But whatever, I'll take it. That week is done. This week is done. Congratulations, you made it. Another week under the belt. The first full week of the year. If you can do this one, you can do 51 more of them. There's your prep talk for the rest of your life. Uh, but we'll be coming back again next week for more of this. And again, if you got any map challenges you want me to do, let me know in the comments below. If you got anything you want me to try, I'll give them a shot. But for all of me here, to all of you, hope your week was great. I hope mine was too. And uh, we'll see you real soon again.